Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video I'm going to introduce my homemade supercapacitor. This is 100 farad and 1.4 volts homemade supercapacitor. In one of my previous videos I told you how to make a you know, homemade supercapacitor step by step at home and uh, some of you my friends in the comment sections told me that uh, this is a fake video, there's a hidden battery inside this plastic tube. But today first of all I'm going to um, test my homemade supercapacitor and after that i will open up and show you the inside of my homemade supercapacitor and i will try to tell you how you can make a homemade supercapacitor at home very efficient and very nice homemade supercapacitor so first of all let's start with uh, testing our homemade supercapacitor i'm taking my multimeter set to volt uh, mode and uh, now i'm going to um show you the initial voltage inside the uh, supercapacitor as you see there, there is zero volt inside my homemade supercapacitor this is empty now now i will charge it up i have here my lead acid battery one cell lead acid battery it is 2.1 volt almost 2.1 volt now i will charge my supercapacitor and after that i will um show you the voltage inside it uh, this is the um, positive and uh, this is the negative I will just charge for about one minute one minute will be enough to charge the supercapacitor I'm just waiting for about one minute Okay, my friend now i think that's enough now we will uh, measure the voltage inside the supercapacitor okay As you see, we have 1.4 volt inside my homemade supercapacitor. Now I will try to run this DC motor with my homemade supercapacitor. As you see, it can run this DC motor very fast. See how fast it can run it. See, there is no battery only only my homemade supercapacitor just as you see my friends i have only my homemade supercapacitor can you see the power of my homemade supercapacitor that's pretty cool huh okay let's measure the voltage again inside it Measure the remain voltage. And as you see, we have still 1.22 volts inside the supercapacitor. Uh, this is a very nice, very beautiful supercapacitor. Now I will open up my homemade supercapacitor and I will show you inside it and try to tell you how you can make your own homemade supercapacitor at home, my friends. Okay, let's open up. Now I will open up the um, cover, okay, pull it out slowly, okay, this is inside of my homemade supercapacitor. Now I will open up the roll, first of all I need to remove the tape. Let's cut these parts and put it away. Uh, 
it is wet there is electrolyte inside it okay my friends i will open very slowly Okay, just watch very carefully. Um, as you see, I have two uh, copper foil coated by activated carbon, coated with activated carbon, and I have a separator between them. As you see. Okay, my friends, I will remove the um, separator. This is the first separator. And this is the first Cooper foil. Can you see the um, activated carbon here, my friends? And remove the second. Uh, you see the separators here? I have two pieces of separator and two pieces of copper foil this is the positive one as you see and um, i have here the second electrode this is the negative one so if you want to make a super capacitor you just need to um, copper foil as you see just like this and uh, paint the copper foils with activated carbon mix of activated carbon and graph graphite powder so um, just add a little bit um, binder to the powder and when you paint uh, the copper foil with this active material and use two pieces of separator between these two uh, foils and roll it up and after that put it in a plastic tube just like this and filled it with electrolyte. As an electrolyte, you can use 30% um, or 20% sodium hydroxide solution in deionized water. Normally, pure sodium hydroxide, hyd uh, pure sodium hydroxide is very corrosive to uh, copper foil, but when it's uh, up to 30 or 40% um, percent solution in deionized water, it is very friendly to um, copper foil, so you can use with peace of mind the um, sodium hydroxide solution as an electrolyte. So it will be a water-based uh, electrolyte. So the maximum operating voltage of your supercapacitor will be 1.4 or 1.3. Uh, I recommend you to charge up to 1.2 or 1.3 volt. If you overcharge your supercapacitor, after some times uh, your supercapacitor will damaged and ruined by the electrolyte and because of the uh, overcharge. I hope this video helped you to, and uh, give you an idea about how to make a um, supercapacitor and you can try at home and make your supercapacitor just I um, show you. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel and like the video. See you in the next videos, my friend. Take care of yourself.